had bad luck of shiny hunting during the Kanto and Johto event? Well, you might be really lucky because whole event is having people get really lucky. Be sure to check out this video because I'm going to tell you all what shiny I got. Start in 3, 2, 1. How's it going everyone? This is Channel Trainer 1030 and today, yes, as you can see, it's here next to me, I successfully encountered Shiny Skitty. Now that Dad captured it. What we're doing this video, I'm going to explain to you all how I got it, I'm going to give my thoughts on it, etc. But first, before I get into it, I do want to mention that I recently started a brand new giveaway if you're new to channel with it. If my channel reaches 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to try to pick one winner to now receive a fresh new Nintendo Switch, but also a copy of your choice, Pokemon Sword or Shield. More details will be at the end of this video. Be sure to check out how much hours go by sharing it with your friends and family, or wherever you are at, they appreciate it. We're only one month away from the DLC. Alright, so now getting back to today's video, start off with the story of encountering the shiny. By the time of this video, you might have already, but the video has recorded on May 14th. So sometime after dinner, I decided to go to New Zealand and do some shiny checking. Went to this first spot, wasn't doing good, and then as soon as this YouTuber, I'm not going to say his name, but anyways, he started streaming, decided to go to his cords, decided to check it out, and ended up getting the shiny. Unfortunately, I had to wait for the cooldown. Now, I know I told you guys I wouldn't be spoofing anymore, but to clarify what I mean by that, I'm no longer going to be spoofing through the ones that have the the second strike. And as long as I use accounts that have like no strikes or anything, I'm perfectly fine. So, I be, so yesterday I started a brand new account, went from level 1 and went straight to level 7, tried to get myself the shiny dunce bar and unfortunately no luck. Now if you're curious as to how many counters it took me to get the shiny is how many it took. Yeah, this time I took, but everyone's different how to get it. Now, personally for me, I'm okay with the shiny, but as for De Del Caddy, I like that one better. That's my personal opinion. You guys have your own opinion. Now, with reflecting uh, Skitty and Del Caddy in the current meta, they're really not too great or anything. At least a nice part, they're in the game, and most importantly, they're shiny. They're shiny, it was introduced because of the Hoenn research, which by the time I video, New Zealand has already started, which the courts will be in the description below if you want to teleport here and try to get yourself not only Shiny Skitty, but also possibly the Rayquaza hat Pikachu. Which, I don't know about you guys, I'm feeling so tired of so many hats with the Pikachu. It's like, how many hats do we need? Do we need like a balloon hat Pikachu? Do we need Pennywise Pikachu? I'm just saying, that's like way too many. I, I can understand that nineteen point of view that Pikachu is like one of the popular characters, but come on, there's so many other Pokemon that can get hats. Like, what about uh, Grid Ninja? I know that's a long ways to go, but I'm just uh, saying an example. Back with the uh, home research here, there's interesting stuff in this game here. Like, there's a research you can build to get some interesting spawns. You also have a chance to build to get Shiny Groudon. But personally for me, I already have one though, but my new account doesn't have one. But we'll have to see. In my plan to keep on shiny hunting for the Rayquaza hat, I'm not really sure though, because like I said already, I'm not too satisfied with the, the Rayquaza hats here. If you want me to try and get the Rayquaza hat, let me know in the comments below that I appreciate it. Now, as for other things to cover with the home events here, the spawn rates for each of the Pokemon, they're okay -ish. Skitty is not so much though. I, I, I think there is some Nesses going up right there as well. So once I do know some Nesses, I'll be sure to let you guys know as soon as possible. That's pretty much all we're going to cover for today's video. The purpose of this video is let you know that Shiny Skitty is live in Pokemon Go, along with Request a Hat Pikachu. So what you know, I gave my thoughts on it, etc. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on everything covered here. Do you like the Shiny Skitty? Do you like the Shiny Delcaddy? What are you hoping to look like instead? Have you got, got yourself one yet? Let me know. They appreciate it. Hope you all did enjoy today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give you a thumbs up. Check out the subscribe bell for more gameplay videos. And I will see you all in the next video.